And here's the thing about Nate Pearson. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog, and my arms won't stop waving. Stop it! Waving and flailing arm too, man! And, I, and I'm your host, Adam Pedal, and today, guys, we're going to be breaking down the last week in baseball right. in Blue Jay land. Right, Before buddy. we get into it, guys, because we're going to be talking a little bit about Nate Pearson, we're going to be talking a little bit about this dispute between Jeff McNeil and Francisco Lindor. Like, what was that whole post game conference? But before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as well, guys, this video is brought to you by Manscaped and Monkey Knife Fight. If you use the, the code TODAYJAYS, you can get access to clean balls for cheap, 20% off with free shipping. And as well, Mans are for Monkey Knife Fight, you can get a free deposit up to 100%, up to $50 if you use TODAYJAYS That's as your right, code. man. So check that out. If you like the channel, keep us going. Yeah. All right. Nicholas. Let's get into the baseball news. Tell dude. me about what's going on this I want to talk first about the ridiculousness that was this Lindor post game whatever nonsense. <laughs> now, guys, just to preface this, like this yeah. whole situation. Yeah, tell me. There was like an infield ground ball. Uh, I think it was Ahmed who who hit it. Uh, it ended up resulting in a hit and, and it was basically because there was a miscommunication from Jeff McNeil, from Lindor, Jeff McNeil plays second, Lindor is the shortstop, obviously, on the Mets, about who was going for that ball. So it, there was just a moment, there was a lapse there. Lindor eventually went for it, got it, gunned it to first, it was a bit late. So it, it looked right after that play that they were a little bit upset with one another. Mm. Whatever, mm -hmm. no problem. Mm -hmm. Well, then a little bit later... In a, like, I forget what, exactly what it was, but it was like the changing of the innings or something mm. like that, middle of an inning, um, or you know what I'm talking about yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, there was this, like, everyone on the New York Mets, Conforto, a couple other guys, just rushed into the <laughs> dugout, basically, like into the locker room section of it. And, and everyone was like, what the hell's going on? So then after the fact, what was kind of the thinking was that Lindor and McNeil, they were going at each other. They were yelling. People were reporting that they thought that they heard yelling going on. Mm -hmm. So Lindor, with this, like, <laughs> shit-eating grin on his face, <laughs> he's just like, yeah, you know, like, I've, I've never been really to New York, and I really wanted to see a New York rat. And so I said, hey, that's a rat. And, and, and Jeff said no that's a raccoon and and we were we were arguing back and forth and this guy's like smiling into yeah, the camera yeah. like it's like bro that is the most ridiculous yeah, thing yeah. to be arguing about mid baseball game if that's what you were doing yeah but i really don't think that's what they and, were actually and didn't doing. jeff mcneil also say like well i've been here longer and that's a raccoon for sure yeah 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 it was some report like lindor came out and was just like no like i've been here longer than you and that's a raccoon i think that Lin or mcneil probably said something along the lines of i've been here longer or than <laughs> you but maybe not in reference to a yeah. rat or a raccoon i think the rat and raccoon were replacement words for that yeah. was my ball, not your ball. Yeah, I've been here yeah, longer than yeah, you. Exactly. Of course, we're just speculating, causing shit. Yeah, but we're uh, just causing the shit, I think man. But I think it's fun. But it's also <laughs> too, dude. Like, <laughs> could you actually imagine? They pay this guy how much money? Yeah. He is struggling right now. Yeah. If mid baseball game. <laughs> Francisco Lindor is like, oh, what, what's is, is that, that a rat? rat? And just like starts going off into the dugout, not paying any attention. <laughs> I want my money back mm -hmm. if I'm the New York Mets. Yeah, I, where's my like like down payment money? Give me yeah. all of that back, baby. You're hitting like 190 right now. And you're <laughs> worrying about New York rats? Yeah, clearly it's not that at all. And Lindor. Needed some talking to from one of the vets of yeah, Jack yeah. McNeil. Yeah, I think they they patched it up. I believe yeah, they yeah. hugged it out. Yeah, but yeah. I just thought that was super yeah, funny, man. Yeah. That was <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. That was good. That was good. Another ridiculous thing to be happening in baseball is now it feels like pitchers around the league, no name guys, have decided <laughs> that this year in 2021 we are going to become elite. Yeah. Two no nos. <laughs> I feel like I feel like every single every single week it's like oh, okay, who got a no no this like, week? Who got a no no this news week? News anymore? 
anymore? No. Uh, it, now the questions are starting to raise. Obviously, it's Wade Miley and John Means yes. got the no no. And so congratulations congrats, congrats. to both of them. That you means guys. something. All yes. right. We're not we're definitely not downplaying the skill of what it takes well, to do a no no. But there's been four already, and it's been just over a month. You gotta you gotta start asking questions like is there something wrong with the balls? Is there something wrong with the players? Or are the pitchers actually just starting like, to get are, really are they good? Actually just crazy right now, dude. Like I thought walking into this year, there was this whole kerfuffle about the MLB like like cracking down on substance abuse. And I am certainly not insinuating or accusing either of these guys or any pitchers of doing that. But why is it all of a sudden that all of these guys are so good? And it feels like elite offensive guys like Lindor, who I'm just talking about, he's not the only one. Yeah. But people are struggling. Yeah. So what is it? We don't know. And don't if you know, came man. here for answers, we don't got any. Don't it's any just answers, an anomaly. Man. I have no answers. Maybe next week we'll have another two. It, and it, your fantasy week will be a W. Yeah, yeah. Well, I am I am currently winning right now, riding off of John Means and his no no. So thank you very much, John Means. Yeah. Almost a perfect game, but the catcher kind of screwed up. Don't want to name names, but it was the catcher. I don't even know his name. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> John Means threw a curveball. He got the strikeout. Wild pitch, apparently. Catcher couldn't throw it down to first base. Still Silliness. Silly, silliness. Speaking what else? of K's, what else? bro, we got a What's new K's? man, and uh, and his name is, <laughs> I guess he's not a new guy, but he's the fastest <laughs> player to ever reach 400 of them ah. in the MLB, and that is Hater on the Milwaukee Brewers. Josh the Hater. Nice. I always knew that he was crazy, but like that's that really stood out to me. That is crazy. Fastest to reach 400K. Well, <laughs> we're piggybacking off. Pitchers are just getting better, and yeah. there you go. There yeah. is a prime example. There is a prime example, dude, and yeah. it feels like that guy is super young. Like he is gonna, like he's already a stud in this league. Arguably mm. the best closer in the game, but uh, but he's got like time to get yeah. better. He's a young yeah. boy, you know. He's yeah. not an older guy. Could be, could potentially be one of the best in the game when it's all said and. Done. Yeah, for buddy. sure. And it's all said and done. He definitely could be. For so that's sure. cool. So shout that's out to cool. you, Josh, Josh Hader. Uh, what else is going on in the MLB? Oh, okay. AL East stuff. Uh huh. Boston has what? Excuse me. The what are you best doing record right now? They have the baseball? best. They have the best winning percentage in baseball with a sixty-two point nine. So basically, sixty-three percent. Well, they tw winning twenty-two and thirteen. Twenty-two and thirteen, oh bro. Their last ten is six and four. What? I mean, like I, I did, I did predict that they would be pretty good. But don't you remember on one of our podcasts where yeah. we we did a collab? Uh -oh. Um. Oh my gosh. I'm blanking on his name. Uh, yeah, I'm blanking too. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, my, we'll put it up on the screen yeah, yeah, because right, that's right. so utterly rude of us. Oh my god! But um, but we did the collab, and uh, and basically it was like um, like he was saying, like I think Boston's better than than what everyone's uh, saying. Yeah. And you're right, dude. Yeah, no, he, he's right. And I think we have a bet where it's like, what? If he gets, if they get over 83 wins or something, then we have to do 50 push-ups. And yeah. if we get under, then we, then he does. So it's looking like we're going to be hitting the floor, It's looking boys. like we're going to have to, dude. And also, we lost our third place uh, or our second place spot. We're now in third in the AL East. The Yankees finally took it from us uh, Damn after, after we lost today when we're making this video. Um Two freak in the Houston Astros. The Yankees did win. They are now seventeen and uh, and sixteen or eighteen and sixteen, and we are mm. seventeen and sixteen. So okay, that's so they... good enough for third. But it's all very very close because also the Tampa Bay Rays are eighteen and seventeen. Mm. It's all a grind. Baltimore mm. starting to drift away, fifteen and eighteen. Okay, but, I mean, that's still that like, we're, super close. It's good. I mean, we were expecting it was going to happen. It was going to start yeah, happening. Also, you know the what Yankees I mean? Yankees getting back Luke Voigt this Tuesday. Uh -oh. It looks like. It was, you know, it, it feels like, I don't know, man. Like, their bats are starting to come alive now. Like, yeah. Stanton's going crazy. Judge yep. is going crazy. The, With Luke Voigt coming back now, it's looking like they're just as scared as we thought. Yep, and, you know, they, Kluber's doing well. Tyone's doing, well. doing decent now. Cole and Cole's obviously crack. doing Cole stuff. Crack, yeah. And that's all you really need for the New York Yankees. And you already know that they're going to, I know they're going to be looking for another starting pitcher. We've been saying Scherzer. Scherzer would be perfect. Oh, dude. Perfect I, for the Yankees. <laughs> Man. That would destroy that would de everybody. Can you imagine that Cole rotation? Scherzer? Cole Scherzer, Scherzer and then Kluber's and then Kluber, your third. He's like right there, dude. God damn. God damn, dude. Yeah. That's that like Scherzer Cy Young, uh, Kluber Cole, Cy Young. Cole should have won a Cy Young yeah. at this point. And uh, this year, 
could be Cy Young. Could be so, for real. So yeah, they are looking be, scary, man. It could be very, very, very scary. Braves sign the guy I wanted for the Jays, especially, and we're gonna talk a little bit about the injuries, but not too much because we will be doing an injury update later mm. this week. But they signed Shane Green. He's finally mm. off the market. That's too bad, dude. That's bad. We could have used him. We could have one thousand percent used him, but they brought him back to a one-year deal. Yeah. Congratulations. You Good got the you. best guy in the market. Good for you. There was one guy that uh, was not, in fact, brought back, but in fact, shipped out. Mm. And this is what our weekly dumb dumb. You did a dumb <laughs> dumb. This week you we're talking. Did a dumb dumb. We're talking about the LA Angels. What did they do this week in the You Did a Dumb Dumb? You did a dumb dumb because they got rid of Albert Pujols, man. They just released him, and and you know what? It's we're, we've kind of been waiting for a time to use this segment. Yeah. Like, I think it's kind of funny. And we yeah, like it. yeah. Um, so we're kind of stretching it a bit. I wouldn't say this is so much of a dum dum as much as it's like you did a disrespect. You did, you a, did a disrespect. Dis- a di- disrespect. Did, disrespect. You know? disrespect. Res- yeah. Yeah. Because this guy has done so much for your team, so much for baseball. Yeah. He's just been like a cr- like he's obviously going to the Hall of Fame, one of the best baseball players of all time yeah. and in this generation. It's just really too bad to see somebody's career who is that elite end like that. You kind of want it to end on their own terms. Yeah. And on that regard, I will say you did a dumb dumb. Dumb dumb. And also, here's another dumb dumb thing. What? You got star player Mike Trout saying that after he heard that Pujols got bro- like got released, he broke down. Hey, because you-, you know what a Pujols is? Pujols is just future Mike Trout, bro. Yeah, Mike Trout looked up to Albert Pujols. Many players in the clubhouse, I bet, looked up to Albert Pujols. Yes, he's not in your starting lineup. You got Jared Walsh killing it right now. But you got a leader yeah. and a guy who was on his last year. The last thing, the least you could do is give him his victory tour or yeah. victory, you know, goodbyes to the MLB. And because you didn't, you did a boom boom. Yeah, you did a freaking LA it's just Angel like, Man. Just one of those things where it's like, you, Players start to lose respect for the management for real. when they do stuff like that, That's even dumb, if he is dumb. sucking. But, you know, dumb, somebody dumb. like Mike Trout's looking like that and saying, hey, that could be me in six, Yeah, seven, you, you're going to release me when I start doing bad? Exactly. exactly dumb, you know? dumb. Give me some respect. So. Dumb, dumb. Anyways, that's kind of what is going on around the league right now. Let's transition, switch it over, mm-hmm. talk about the Jays. Mm-hmm. They did exactly what we said that they literally did they did exactly we're the literally. first time that we got it right and it yeah. kind of sucks that we did because we yeah. predicted they would go three and four this week and that's what they did exactly exactly what they did they have three and four yeah i mean ryu uh he came back so that's exciting that he thank did god. thank god thank and god we we won we won on the night he came back and as well Robbie Ray looking like a solid yeah, stud. Robbie Ray is currently the best pitcher on the staff yeah. for us, ERA yeah. wise. I think strikeout wise too. Like just yeah. across the board, he's looking like a great one year signing, mm-hmm. and we need it, man. Because when you look at some of our other pitchers, like Nate Pearson, who made his first debut today, uh, it, it just it looks like we're we're in a rough spot because he doesn't look major league ready right now. No. He was having control issues five. Walks. Five walks. Over 2.23 innings. Yeah. Five walks. Two, two, yeah, two and a third, four oh, hits. Oh, my mistake. Yeah. I gave him an extra third yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, no, two, two and, a and a third. Uh, four hits, five free passes, zero strikeouts, uh, three and runs. And here's the thing about Nate Pearson. This is something that I talked about, we talked about last year. It was his whole mechanical issue where he's literally not looking at where the ball is supposed to go. He's pulling his head off. He's trying to get. Oh, yeah. he, he, I think he was built up in this system because he's trying to throw 110. Now, I'm not saying he was trying to throw 110 today. It didn't look like that. But his mechanical, this bad habit he has where he's throwing his head off. And he's not looking where he's supposed to throw the baseball. Caused some of those command issues, yeah. and they highlighted today. And so that is something that we've got to look at and going before, forward. He's not ready, guys. Before we start getting comments about how oh, like he's a bust, or you guys need to stop being so harsh on him, or whatever. It's either it is. it's one or the other. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, guys. He is not a bust. 
and we are not being that harsh on no. him. I think we are truly just just analyzing what happened, and I don't mean it to be a rude thing when I say that he is not right now ready for the major leagues. It's Five true. walks in 2.13 innings. It's just not going to do it. Yeah. And there was no command today. Even when we were getting outs, there just there just wasn't any command. So yeah. I'm still ready to give him another start. Of course. But we need to have some time with Pete Walker. And if he comes out and if he does a similar performance, I this is not any disrespect to him, but I think it would be beneficial for him and for the team to send him back to AAA and, and give him some more time to develop because... Uh, it's yeah, really for me, it's that's a tough line to cross because you, obviously you don't want to send a dude down. Like if he has a couple bad starts in the majors, it's like you don't want to do that to him. If he has a few more, like I, I got to give him, I got to give him like a solid amount of time until at least we find starting pitching. Because that's the whole reason why we brought him up in the first place. I hear you, bro. Starting pitching. I hear you. But I mean, was what you saw today better or worse than Tanner Rourke? Um... Equal, <laughs> like equal. I would argue worse. I would right. argue worse. Right. Oh, and and again, I'm not gonna like. I hear what you're saying. I am well, obviously. You said we're gonna give him some more starts. If he were to do what he's done, but for like four more starts, clearly there's a giant issue, and he needs to go back to AAA. But I am gonna give him those starts because the need is starting pitching, and we don't have it, so we have to try. I'd rather have him though mm. over Tanner Roark. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I mean, Tanner Rourke's got no ceiling. You know, I, I think it's just when when it is such a clear, uh, like you put it, mechanical issue or, yes. or tech, like it's it's so clearly like there's a problem in the way that you're delivering your pitches. If you come out and you do the same thing again in the next start, then I think I can adequately say this is a problem. Will it be better by next week? Probably not. Right, right. Do you need more time at the training site? Yes, yeah. I think so. So we'll yeah. see how he does. We got to watch it, but definitely look for that control, guys, because today there was not barely any but when he was finding i will give him some credit though when he was finding his it control was paint, it was paint right on the edges so i will give him that though so yeah. good good work on that yeah, yeah for sure man for sure um and what else we got for uh, blue jays? well some other blue jays who's talking about prospects i mean alec manoa 12 innings in uh or i'm sorry 12 k's, 12 k's in six and innings scoreless in uh in uh the i guess um uh, Triple A. Oh, triple A. Yeah. Um, so that's super exciting to see. And uh, SWR also had a pretty good outing. I think he yeah. had eight Ks through four. Eight Ks, four innings. Something yeah. like that. Um, so that's super exciting. Uh, as far as like the bats go, Vladdy got a bit cold. Mm -hmm. That kind of sucks. Mm -hmm. But uh, but we did have some hot boys. Yes, we had, we had a lot. We had a and, lot and of hot boys. I'll be honest, J of the week this week, hard to decide. It was very hard. But before close. we get into that, we got a message from our sponsors. Yeah. So this video, as we brought, said before, is brought to you by Manscaped, but we, they have their new May shipment out. Mm -hmm. They have it here, boys. Give us the script, man. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What is the best brand for my balls? Mm. Manscaped, of course, but hold up. Is that a nose pube? Good thing our partners at Manscaped are here to ensure that you're taking care of your manhood and your nose hairs with this new performance package. This is... Fuck. This is the Weed Whacker. Whoa. Whoa. So it's basically a nose hair trimmer, an ear hair trimmer. Oh, my gosh. And I'll be honest, boys. I haven't used a nose hair trimmer or an ear hair trimmer, but I guess now that I've got this... I might as well because well, of, go for it, bro. But, well, oh, fuck it, yeah. Fuck. Why not? All Give right, it a try. Go. Let's go. Let's actually, Let's this, the actual be, reaction. this is gonna be a real time yeah. reaction, boys. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Stick it in, it man. Tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Get it oh in my there, god, man. it tickles. Oh, I oh. hear it working, bro. <laughs> I hear it yeah. working. Oh, it tickles so much. <laughs> uh, see, this is good. You're cleaning it out, though. I definitely oh. hear it cleaning it out, man. I'm seeing the hairs on me. Wow. I, I, I heard well, the from other what nose, I but yes. heard, from what I heard, <laughs> I think you said that 79% yeah. of, of the uh, opposite partners of the opposite partner. uh, are saying that it is unattractive when, when yes. your nose hairs aren't trimmed. So, guys, yes. this is clearly the way to go. Make sure to check it out. This is it, Anything boys. Anything else we got to say? Yeah. So, this is our call to action, boys. You can get 20% off. Free shipping with the code TODAYJAYS at manscaped.com. That is manscaped.com. 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com if you use the code TODAYJAYS. So what are you waiting for? 
Go whack your weeds and make sure your balls look great during the process. Hell to the That's yes. right. Boys. Hell wow. to the I gotta yes. do the other notes after this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Get on that, man. Holy you don't want to be like lopsided or something. Can you smell better? Yeah. Whoa. I feel a little bit freer. There you go. Wow, Manscaped. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, man. The moment I've always been waiting for. I love to say it, but it is time for the day of the week. The coveted J of the ah. Week award. This one was tight. It was very right tight. Right up until the end. Two guys. I want to start with the honorable mention. Mm -hmm. And it goes to Randall Gritchick. You were very close. Yeah, yeah. Give him, give him mm -hmm. a round of applause. Very man. close. Nine RBIs. Oh, yeah. Three runs. He got a home run. Mm -hmm. uh, like across the board, he was really good getting Two the production doubles. in. Very it's nice. It's just when you look at the slash line of this other guy. Yeah. It's really nice. So let me yeah. read off the slash line. 379 batting average, 437 on base, and 586 slugging. That's good for an above one OPS. Yeah. I'm gonna take a pause. Guess who it is? It's Marcus oh, Sammy. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Your yeah. first J of the week, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Very good work. Mm -hmm. yeah. He got 11 hits this week. He has a seven-game hit streak Amazing. right now. Amazing. That is incredible. Amazing. Earning your money. Yeah. Two homers. Yeah. And, like, yeah, Rindo got five RBIs. He got five. But he also scored six runs as our leadoff man this and, week. And, hey, how awesome is it to see when a guy – does that against yeah. their ex team i feel yeah. like he was super yeah. motivated this week because yeah. he had a massive game against oakland the last yes. game he really popped four off. hits yeah it was crazy Monstrous. man so that was super awesome to see for marcus because mm -hmm. he was getting a little cold and this week really brought the numbers up so Love very it. good very Love good it. work thank you marcus thank you for your first j of the week oh, okay buddy and now we went three and four last week yep we it doesn't get a whole lot easier because we no. got some tough tests ahead. We do. Six games this coming week, three against Atlanta, and three against Philly. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking we're going to do? Well, let's take a look at the matchups this coming week, the projected matchups when I look at MLB.com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, next week, obviously, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're facing Atlanta. Yep. We've got on Tuesday, Robbie Ray versus Max Freed. Wednesday is Ryu versus Smiley. And then Stripling versus Morton. So let's take a look at that series. Yep. What do you think, just based on the matchup, Ray versus... What do you think? What, well, what, what my you instinctual reaction prior to this was, oh, we're probably going to lose that Ray to Freed because, like, Freed's mm. doing pretty well. But mm. actually, he's not, guys. Yeah. I think over 16 innings pitched. The ERA is inflated to above eight. Yeah. He's off to a cold start. He's yeah. definitely getting slapped around. Yeah. Um, Could he very easily come back, pitch a gem against us? 1,000%. But as of right now, because Ray's doing so well and because he's off to a slow start... Gotta give that to us. I agree. I'm gonna give it to us as yeah. well. And then the next game, we got Ryu versus Smiley. Never gonna against my bet against Never my gonna boy bench Ryu. Ryu. Ryu's taking it. Yep, me too as well. And then Thursday, Stripling versus Morton. Always I mean. gonna bet against oh. my boy Chicken Strip. <laughs> Martin's taking it. Martin, so, so we're, we're going two and one. Going there. two and one against Atlanta, taking their number, having a total of four and two against them on hell the season. Hell to the ass, hell to the ass. But then we're facing the Phillies, and, and we've already swept them. By the way, guys, already swept. Oh, them. that's right. Okay, so five and one. Okay, yeah, my bad, my bad, them. my bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then on Friday, it's looking like we're gonna have Steven Matz versus Val Velasquez. Val mm -hmm. get Velasquez. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking about that okay, one? That could be now, a toss-up. Now, frankly, you know? I, I really think, if we're just going on the pitching matchup, yeah. I truly think that that is a coin flip. It I is. can see it going either way. The fan in me is going to give it to the Blue Jays, mm. but, like, I mean, Matt's... It could go either it's, way. It's like, Matt's is one of those pitchers right now when you... I really think that he's going to balance out for this entire season mm. at about 4.2, 4.3 ERA, and a guy like that can give you some gems and he can get completely blown up. And I think right. that Velasquez is roughly around the same pitcher, just on the Phillies. Yep. So, coin flip, coin flip I'm man. going Blue Jays. Whoever's the hottest, and I'm going to go Blue Jays as well in that, just mm -hmm. because uh, I believe in the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday, though, we're going to see, we're probably going to see Nate Pearson again. All depends on how they want to do with this off day, but yeah. most likely Nate Pearson versus the one of the Cy Young candidates, like like third runner-up right now. Right, right. In Aaron, Aaron Nola. Nola. Yeah. So, I mean, boys, we yeah. just saw what happened with Pearson today. 
Gotta go if, against if it's them. gonna if it's gonna be another Pearson K Day like mm, like it, like mm, let's face mm, it guys like no. Nola could very easily go six scoreless on yeah, us if for not real. more for real. if we get two on him we're doing really really good for and real. I mean if if Pearson gives up two I'm feeling like we're doing amazing right yeah, now so for real like. Again, we need to go Nola on this one. That's just yep. such a mismatch. Yep, agreed. I feel like Pearson's always getting pitted up against these for crazy real. starts. Like for we real. could pit him up against like the Tanner Rourke's of other teams. Yeah, please. no, for real. Build like, his confidence a little bit. He's got a big uphill battle. Seriously, like let this guy get some wins or something. Like for let real. the offense help him out. It's really hard when we are pitching against Zach Grinky. For real, or, uh, playing against Zach. Grinke. For real, and you gotta get Aaron Nola again. Like Aaron Nola, you know literally what I mean? better than Zach. Yeah, Grinke. literally. So what are you gonna do, man? Well, so. We're, we're going to take an L on that one. We're projecting. And then yeah. Sunday, we got Ray versus Chase Anderson. You know what I'm going to pick here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to go with the hot hand of Gotta Robbie Ray again. Go with Robbie Ray and the Blue Jays. So that makes us 4-2 and two on our projections. Is that yeah. where we're going this week? I, I do believe so. I think I so. Mean, I could very easily see it being like 3-3 three and three with that Velasquez-Mats game. Mm-hmm. But you know what? Fan and me. It's coming through. I'm mm-hmm. saying that we're going four and two. And we're we're gonna get hot. The bats are gonna get hot. Mm-hmm. Vladdy's gonna get out of this yes. kind of slump that he's in yeah. right now. But Bichette's gonna do really well. We're gonna do well. Yeah, we'll be 21 and 18 at the end of, at the end of this week, guys. Well, I cannot complain with. Nope, not at all. All right, guys. So that is basically our weekly predicts. Mm-hmm. It is now time to spin to the spin wheel. That wheel. The spinning. Fortune, baseball, colorful, future determining, stat analyzing, and uh, it's a wheel that we spin every week. All right, guys, and now it's time for that wheel. All right, so I'm just going to recap a little bit of where we are so far in our scores. I've got a nine to six lead. I took two categories from you last week. Uh, the categories were Jay Killer, total bases and home runs. You got the total bases with Bo Bichette at 12. Yeah. Uh, I got I picked Bo Bichette for a home run. Uh, so he was the only home run that was Vlad, hit this week. I literally got Vlad on his yeah. cold week. Like, for what real. the hell? For man? real, man. And then Jay Killer, hard to say, it was Matt Chapman against Guriel. Yeah. This one was close, but Guriel had a yeah. big, big game. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, like, I think I could have argued for this one, but I do feel like in my heart of hearts that yeah. Guriel was probably more efficient than Matt Chapman yeah, getting like, to us. So it was close, yeah. but I'm going to give it to you for sure. Yeah, like he literally had a 500 average against us, and yeah. then uh, they did the same thing, to a double home run, but Guriel got five RBIs. So yeah, no, yeah, I, the RBIs. He killed us. He, he killed yeah, us. he really did get to to us man yeah. so uh so yeah i definitely mm. need a big week this week but it is you so yeah. i'm at a disadvantage already all right you ready to spin let's do it let's, let's do it let's spin buddy let's see what's it gonna be what's it gonna be what's it gonna be oh my god can't have any more freaking bonus players oh. that's a fucking bonus player you gotta be kidding me man this guy literally gets a bonus player every week. I spin the wheel. I don't get it on my week. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all, all right. right. What am I getting my bonus player for? What are you getting your bonus for? player on? Make it something stupid, please. I need something <laughs> stupid. Oh, my gosh. Don't be it again. RBIs. RBIs. Okay. Um, I kind of want to... It's not smart for me to take it first, uh, just because I have to get the back half, but... Um, you know what? I'll let you go first this time. Okay, because I'm, I'm gonna get two. I'll let you pick the first. One. Okay, okay. You're gonna let me pick first. Yeah. On this one. Um, holy. Ah, uh, man. This one is tough. This one is tough. There is a lot of guys who I am interested in, but I can't sleep on my man anymore. We gotta nope. go, Gritch. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta yep. go, Gritch. Of course, of course. He had nine RBIs yeah, last week. Yeah, big RBI. He's gonna be in that RBI position the whole mm-hmm. time, batting fourth or fifth. So mm-hmm. gotta go, Gritch. Uh, and then for me, I mean, he is getting a tiny bit cold in Guerrero, but uh, I'm gonna go with. T.O. Mm-hmm. Gotta go with T.O. And then... It's either Bo, Bo or Vlad, but I'll, I'm gonna go Bo. Just because, obviously, I gotta ride the hot bat. You T.O. Know. and Bo. That seems and Bo. pretty reasonable, yep. man. That seems like a reasonable choice. All right. Let's see. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? 
What's it gonna be? Oh, no. K, K for, for pitchers. pitchers. Okay. Uh, well, amazing. I'm going to choose Riley Ray because yeah. he's most yeah. likely going to go twice yeah, this week. He's going to go twice this week, man. Like, ah, yep. oh, man. Yeah, it's like, yeah, what no do you even do? Close. Like, I'm toast on that one, dude. I'm definitely toast on that one. Yeah, like, uh, what do you even do? I, can't, like, I have no idea, dude. Like, I, that was like the first yeah. week when I went second. I had to, I went like bullpen guy because I'm like, I don't know yeah. how I'm going to get any yeah. K's. I, mean, like, I just have to hope that like Robbie Ray gets, gets totally destroyed. Up, but like, I also don't want to hope for that. Yeah, guy, exactly. Like, I mean, who will Rayu's going? Um, yeah, Matt's going. He's going to yeah. go once, though. Yeah, it's like, um, I mean, like, I think I have to go Ryu, just maybe on the hope that maybe, in some you know. chance he goes twice. Like, yeah, I that's know, it, man. It's only like that's my only hope, but yeah. I feel like that one's like pretty much a lock for you. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it. Like, because literally, Ray yeah. is the best Rego guy, and he's and going he's going twice. twice so, yeah, so, that's yeah. just a, that's a lock. Damn yeah. it! What's it gonna be? <laughs> Give me something I can win, please. J Killer again. Jay Killer. Okay. You're up, man. You're up. Who's gonna well, kill us this week? I feel like it's 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 there's two obvious players this week. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go Ronald Acuna Jr. I'm gonna go Bryce Harper. And that was the other obvious player. Of course, of course. Yeah. All right. Cool. That is our wheel. We'll see if you can uh, spl uh, uh, get the gap. I'm not feeling too confident. Yeah. I think I got to hope for Gritchick with the yep. younger guys. And Har Harper could do uh, it. You and know? I do think that Harper, like Acuna, I think that Harper could definitely take that. He is hot yep. as hell. And, yep. Uh, yep. and Acuna, I think he was feeling a little bit of an injury or something. Oh, fuck. Did I, check, did I just yeah. choose him? Too I late. Too late now, I know. Bro, fuck. But, uh, <laughs> but I do believe there was some sort of injury It's an off. On. Maybe he's an off day tomorrow and yeah, he gets back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, but, yeah, I might have just gave you that one. We'll see. We'll definitely see you guys, uh, boys and girls. But guys, that is the Blue Jays Today Show. Thank you for making it. If you've made it to the end, then kudos on you because these are long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely hop on. Look at that other here, one. Shimmer. Yeah, you got to hop on that. Oh, we're just going to do it right yeah, now. We're going to get it. We're gonna do it right here. <laughs> nice. Hey, I already did one. I got to do the other gotta one. got to do the other one. Well, I just my mustache. Um, but while he is doing that, I will just shout out some of our other stuff. So if you guys like this content, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down down below today jays is the code for manscaped and for monkey knife fight so definitely make sure to do that uh tiktok we got over a million views on our tiktok that we posted with the yeah. baseball videos so if you guys enjoy uh tiktoks follow us on tiktok follow and us. also with those we videos let us know if you're liking them give us some ideas if you want us to i don't know play we bowling make some other teams Play Mario Party with these guys. Who knows? Like whatever you want, you guys let us know. We are your meat we puppets. We are your meat puppets. We will do whatever it is that you want us to do because we're trying to, you know, make this a thing. Trying to make it a thing, so, uh, boys and yeah, girls. Just let us know, guys. Hey, guys. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching every week. And go, Jays, go.